today, before submitting our prayers at the lotus feet of Bhagwan's murti in front of us here, we shall see how everything about Bhagwan, even now, even after his samadhi, has the power to alleviate our suffering, solve our problems of everyday life. Justice Arunachalam, the spiritual successor of Bhagwan Yogiram Sarat is well known. His brother, Sri Vishwanathan, narrated an experience once. He is no more, but when he was coming to the ashram, soon after Mahasamadhi of Bhagwan, when he participated in the ashram function, there was 108 sacred lamps, lighted lamps, kept in order in the Pradhan Mandir at that time, and 108 women did puja to them. It was a very beautiful sight, a sight for the gods. And after that, this was followed by Paduka Puja, the Padu Puja of Bhagwan. When the Padu Puja was over, the holy water that washed the feet of Bhagwan was collected and distributed to many people there. Sri Vishwanathan also collected some in a bottle and took home. It was summer, the sun was oppressive right from morning, and naturally the water level began to decrease everywhere. People found it very difficult to collect water, the drinking water. It happened at one point that water had to be bought with money. Sri Vishwanathan had a well in his garden. It was giving, it, it was 40 feet deep. It was giving enough water for the family and for the people around also, if necessary. But then again, the water level began to decrease to the dismay of the people. And they did not know what to do. In fact, it reached a certain level when, after five hours, they could collect only two buckets of water. What could they do? At this level, he, one day, early morning, he was sitting there in his puja room, was praying to Bhagwan, and suddenly it struck him, Oh, I have got this holy water from the Paduka puja of Bhagwan. Suppose I pour it into the well and pray to Bhagwan. Bhagwan will surely do something. This is holy water that has washed his feet. And as soon as the idea struck him, he and his wife rushed to the backyard. After chanting the Nama and praying to Bhagwan, they poured the remaining water because they had already distributed much to the neighbors, to all those people they came across. Whatever was left behind in the bottle, they just poured it into the well. And then somehow they felt happy because Bhagwan would see to the problem. Bhagwan would definitely do something. With the thought they returned, the whole day passed as usual, very, very hot, unable to bear. But somehow the life went on, as it always did. But evening, about five o'clock, the clear blue sky suddenly began to collect the clouds. And what was more, very soon, the clouds, the clear white clouds began to look dark. And then soon after that, 
it began to rain. And it rained and rained and rained, intermittently, but it did rain the whole night. And they were so happy, the family people were so happy that it happened after they dropped this holy water into the well. And the next day morning, it was very cool, unlike the previous day and the days before that. And suddenly it struck Sri Vishwanathan to go and see the well. So when they peeped in, they found more than half of the well full with water. And what water? The rain water, pure rain water, crystal clear. He could see his reflection in the water. Imagine the joy they must have experienced then. Now the summer has started, we are right in the middle of summer, the same oppressive sun, the heat added to it, this coronavirus scare and the disease. And the Bhagwan, the same Bhagwan, Yogi Ram Sarat Kumar, is standing here in front of us, full of life and grace and power, with his raised hand in benediction. This hand, Abhaya Hasta, tells us all the time, I'm here, don't fear. All you have to do is call out my name for help. I am here, don't fear. I will guide you, protect you, help you. We shall now submit our prayers to this Bhagwan who gave.